Hey you guys, this is Annie with Salt Town Realty and I wanted to talk to you today about the seasonality of real estate. This is a question I get every year during this time of year. Is it a good time to buy and sell houses? And that question is a little bit sorted. Um, at the end of the day, I'll give you like, spoiler alert, the answer is, is that if you have to buy or sell a house in the winter time, that's when you have to buy or sell a house. Like people have to do what they have to do and it doesn't matter what the season is. Um, let's talk about the seller side. So from the seller side, the holidays can be a really nice time to sell your house because typically they're cleaner than normal because you're probably having guests over. They're decorated for whatever holiday you celebrate. And it can be a really beautiful time to sell your house because maybe it smells better than normal, it's a little bit cleaner than normal, shows really well in other words. From the seller side, also there are fewer buyers out typically, but the buyers that are out are really motivated buyers. And that's an important part of selling your home is finding a really motivated buyer. And I promise the ones that are tromping around in the snow and skipping holiday parties and wearing snow boots are very motivated to buy a house. So on the other side, from the buyer's perspective, again, the house is gonna show really well. So you're gonna see a lot of really lovely houses and the sellers are gonna feel extra motivated to sell their house. So before the holidays, especially, maybe they wanna get that transaction over with so they have a little bit of extra spending money during the holidays. And during the winter too, sellers typically tend to be a little bit more nervous. Like, are we gonna find a buyer because there are fewer buyers out? So it's a good time in that regard to buy a house if you're willing to like brave the cold. Um, additionally, there are fewer buyers out, so you're gonna have less competition during those months. Um, a lot of realtors end up going a little bit, um, they hibernate during the winter, that's what I call it. So I tend to stay really busy during the winter months because I want to stay busy. I wanna keep my business running year round. And because there are fewer realtors out, um, I can typically stay busy during the winter months. Let's talk for a second about springtime. So in the springtime, everybody's yards are blooming. It's beautiful out. It's the first time that you can take those jackets off and wear flip flops. So you're gonna see an influx in the springtime with a lot of people coming out to buy houses. A lot of buyers are gonna come out. They're gonna feel inspired. Sellers are spring cleaning. They're like, okay, we're finally ready to buy this house. So it does typically pick up again in the spring and stay busy through the summer. I have personally found that in Utah, July tends to slow down a little bit um, because we've got two giant holidays. We've got 4th of July and then we also have uh, Pioneer Day, which tends to get people out of town. They're going on vacation. The kids are out of school. Um, so actually, July can be kind of a great time on the buyer side to buy a house because there's just fewer buyers out and about. So anyway, I hope that this helps answer some questions about the seasonality of real estate. And I hope you guys have just such an amazing holiday season and happy new years and please let me know or if you or anyone else you know wants to buy or sell a home thanks for watching bye